Hey there, Daryl Berling here from Master New Testament Greek, here to help you with the tools, habits, and systems to help you master the Greek of the New Testament. So here's a question. I got an email or a message rather a YouTube comment, in fact, the other day uh, from somebody, and this was from Sean, and Sean was asking, uh, he wants to read outside of the Greek New Testament, what can I read in Koine Greek to improve my Koine? I really want to read from the patristics, such as John Chrysostom and Athanasius, uh, but I can't seem to find any readily available and reliable Greek texts for anything outside the New Testament. What would you recommend? Well, this is a great question, Sean, and it is super important and super helpful to read outside of the Greek New Testament because the language of the New Testament was not it's like, not like a Holy Spirit language or anything like that. It's the language of an everyday people at a particular point in time. So there's a cultural context uh, in which this all takes place. And if we understand and can read these texts outside of that context, we will gain a better understanding of how the language was used and also how the New Testament even was adapted into the Church Fathers and also where the New Testament came from in terms of the Septuagint. So these are really important questions and really helpful to understand. So this is a great question. So here's a couple of things. I want to give you two sets of resources, one for the Septuagint and the other one for the Apostolic Fathers. Let's start with the Septuagint. And obviously you can get physical copies of the Septuagint and this is this is uh, Ralph's Hanhart uh, edition of the Greek New Testament. This is very similar to what you'd expect with a UBS 5th edition or something like that. Uh, it's got a slightly smaller font, but again, just like in, in the 5th edition, it's going to have at the bottom of the page here, it's still going to have your apparatus, so you can still track the different manuscripts that have this version in it and so on and so forth. So that's a really obvious one. Now the problem with this is that you're going to find, even if you know all the 5,300-ish words of the New Testament, there are still going to be words in here you don't know. Not only that, but even if you do know the words, you may find that sometimes the words are put together in such a way that you actually don't know, say, the idiom that is being used. Even though you can identify the word, uh, you're not sure of the idiom. And so this will this could stymie you in that sense so if you if that's the case with you then i recommend uh this recently released septuaginta this was uh last year this was released and this is a reader's edition maybe it was the year before uh, this is a reader's edition of the greek old testament this comes in two volumes you can see this is volume two uh and that's because it's still got the nice cover thing on it if you like covers i took it off the other one because i've been reading it uh so this is the septuaginta now this is identical it's based on the same text as it's the same ralph's Hanhart text as this but the at the bottom of each page you'll notice down here that you've actually got words that don't occur very often in the text okay and so specifically down here if the word occurs less than 30 times in the ubs fifth edition i think it is then you will find the word up here down the bottom here so any words you don't know so if you if you know all the words that occur 30 times or more in the greek new testament you should be able to go here and you should be able to follow along to some extent so that is a fantastic way to get into the greek old testament the septuagint and so i recommend uh, that as well now i'm going to leave a link to these below so you can click on them and, and then buy those if you want to so that's the pretty much the best you've got with the Septuagint. Let's move on to the Apostolic Fathers. Now, with the Apostolic Fathers, first up, you can get plain old texts of this, and this is uh, a really good edition by Michael Holmes. Michael Holmes has done a lot of work in the Apostolic Fathers over the last 30 years or so, and so this is, this is actually the third edition, and this builds on the work of guys like J.B. Lightfoot and others who have gone before. Now, the con if you look through the contents of this, there's a number of letters. You've got first and second Clement, uh, you've got the martyrdom of Polycarp, you've got the shepherd of Hermas, you've got the letters to Barnabas, and so on. Now, the other thing about this is if you open it up, it's actually got the Greek on one side, and then on the other side, it has the English. So you can choose to read the Greek, and then if you do get stuck on a word, you can just simply flick over and take a look at how Holmes uh, and Lightfoot before him have rendered the Greek into English. And so this is a pretty helpful way of going through the Apostolic Fathers as well. This is pretty pretty readily available. You can get it on christianbook.com and amazon.com, and I'll leave a link to this below as well. Now, if you wanted to avoid an English translation entirely and just work directly from the text, there are actually a number of readers' editions that you can get. One of the most recent is uh, this series, which has been edited by a number of guys, uh, and it's actually now been made into a single volume set, uh, which I'll leave a link to in the, in the comments below, rather than leaving a link to all the individual ones 
Uh, well, maybe I'll leave a link to some of these. Uh, with these, you've got a number of options. So I've got here the Didache, I've got the Letters of Ignatius, and I've got First and Second Clement. So you can choose whichever ones you want if you want to get the individual volumes, but it's probably better to go for the larger single volume set. And what this does is this is very similar to other ones. In fact, you've, I've got some markings in this one. Let me turn to this clean page, and you can see here it's very similar. It's got a nice big text uh, up the top here, and then it's got uh, words down the bottom that occur, I believe, 30 times or less at the bottom of the page. So this is good. Now, the only thing that I would critique with this, in my opinion, this is a good set, right? But there are some things that sort of irk me a little. Uh, for instance, there are a number of times you find tis uh, without its accent, when it should have the accent, and things like that. Those are simple things that I think should have been uh, count caught, but for the most part, uh, this is a very affordable series, and that's what's nice. I think the single volume set is $28, uh, which if you compare it to the Septuagint reading a reader's edition that I just pointed out before, that's a, that's a bargain. So this is a really good, very easy and accessible single volume set if you get the single volume, otherwise you can get the multi-volume set and you can just choose whichever letters you're interested in reading. There is also Rodney Whitaker, uh, who's a Greek scholar. He's also done a number of works like this, and he's got a patristic Greek reader. Now, what's nice about this is he's going through the patristic fathers, and he's actually ordering the texts based on uh, the easiness of reading. So, for instance, you start off with something a little more difficult, a little more simple, rather, such as, I believe it's the Didache, uh, and then you move on from there into slightly more difficult texts. And now he gives you an introduction to each book. He also gives you words as well as a bit more information at the bottom of each page. So uh, again, I've got this marked up. But if you go to the bottom of the page here, you can see not only does he have the word with a gloss, but sometimes he explains uh, a little bit more detail about each word and how it's being used in the context. So this is a really good option, a patristic Greek reader by Rodney Whitaker. Now, I've recommended Whitaker's things before. He's a, he's a fantastic scholar and I enjoy his work. So well worth getting a hold of this one. Now, if you want something a little broader in its scope, perhaps this would be uh, what you're interested in. This is by Maclean and it's a Hellenistic and Biblical Greek reader. And again, same kind of thing. It's got the Greek text. It doesn't always have the words at the bottom but it does give you more of an introduction and so at the beginning of each reading he's actually going to give you key words vocabulary words that you'll need to know as you go through the reading uh, or after the reading rather and it gives you a bit of an introduction now this book is different in that not only does it have some of the more you know some of the texts from the new testament it also has texts from the septuagint from um, the apocrypha uh, and also from secular writing so you'll think find things like philo in here for instance um, as well as some inscriptions that are found around uh, that have been found in antiquity so this is a, a hellenistic and biblical greek reader and this is it's quite a bit thicker than some of the others but it's got a real good variety of uh, text in it that you can tackle now the last thing i want to offer to you if you do choose to get just a plain old uh, apostolic fathers book like this is that there is actually this reader's lexicon as well of the apostolic fathers now if you've got the new testament version of this you'll know it's somewhat larger than this and that's because within certain texts and this is actually key to holmes's apostolic fathers you'll find that there are less words you know don't know in the apostolic fathers than there are in the new testament partly because there's probably not quite the same volume of writing inside this book uh, but also because it assumes you already know a bunch of words in the Greek New Testament, so that cuts it down even further. But those are some helpful resources that you might like to be able to read a little further outside of the Greek New Testament. Sean, I hope this answers the question for you. So I'm going to leave a link to all of those in the comment section below, so you'll be able to see those. But let me ask you this as I close. Which of these, if you've got one, have you found the most useful? And if you don't have one, which of these seems to be the most useful to you for what you want to do? Leave a comment in the notes below in the comment section below and I look forward to interacting with you there. If this has been helpful, give it a thumbs up that helps other people to know it's useful, also helps me to uh, tell people that I'm, it helps me to know I'm creating good stuff uh, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, keep taking small steps. See you soon.